Hi everyone, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back to share with you guys one of the items that I created for my friend Anna, who is Serenity Creations. Hey Anna! I know she'll be watching this video, even though she hasn't received it yet. Um, just a little inside joke. But um, I created a rosette wand with a pinwheel. Um, I think it's on the bigger side, so let me share with you what I created. But first, to create the rosette part, I used my Sizzix die, the party fans. Um, for this, I used the medium size one, and um, I believe I used five different die cuts, but I did actually end up cutting it down um, when I was finished. So that's what I used to create the rosettes. And here is the wand. It is chock full of stuff and it is busy just like Anna likes it. Well, the first thing is I use single sided paper. You can't really tell as much just because I tried to kind of disguise it, but I didn't have any um, double sided paper with yellow in it. And if you guys don't know, yellow is Anna's favorite color. So uh, these last few weeks, I have used so much yellow in creating projects. And um, I had yellow ink everywhere. But regardless of that, um, I was happy to do it. So I created two fans. And this one has yellow in the flowers, but it has some other colors too, because I didn't want it to be straight yellow. And then on the back side here, it's just this yellow and white polka dot. Because the back really isn't going to be seen as much. My main focal point was at the front of the um, wand. And then I layered a doily on top on both sides. And then I have a crepe paper rosette that I created. There is some white glitter on the edges. You can't really tell um, because I did have to spray seal this and still some of the sequins and bits and parts are coming off so um, hopefully the big chunks of it won't fall off. And then I have this super cute heart resin piece that I stuck in the middle because it was yellow. And I edged both of the the rosettes with some stickles that um, ended up being colored yellow because I had already inked the edges with some distress ink in the colored mustard seed. So that kind of worked out. So if you guys can see that. The stickles is clear, but because it was yellow on the edges from the ink, that's what it picked up. And then I had some leftover mix of a sequin mix that I was um, making for something else and so um, I had some leftover of that so I decided to just sporadically put it all over because I know Anna loves sequins as well and um, just kind of sprinkled that throughout. Um, underneath the rosette I have some of my um, metallic thread in gold that I put under there and then under here, I have a bow that I created using my um, bride's bow die. And then I put this little gem piece in the center. That's a yellow flower. Um, I'll tell you why this little faceted heart is in there in a second. But um, I wanted to make sure that the stick didn't pop out and um, that the ribbon that I curled, and you guys have seen this before, I love doing this. So these are all fabric ribbons. There are, I believe, the 1 8 inch. 1 8 inch, yeah, they're all 1 8 inch. So um, I curled that, but it was kind of an afterthought, so I had to find a way to attach it. So, um, to hide some of the hot glue, that's what that's there for. 
and then on the front side here oh at the very bottom I did add this little tiny magenta pom-pom I thought that would finish it off really well and just hide all the you know I put an extra straw in there and I put in a skewer just to make it extra sturdy this is one of like the pink holographic straws that I have it's not really coming across as pink but um, it has a pink sheen to it I have the same bow on the front this material I got off of Allie a long time ago and um, it was kind of on the lighter side so I did actually color it up with my distress ink and I also doubled it up so it's um, this material on the front and the back so the same faceted heart I think that's by Tim Holtz on the front and the same little flower gem right there so this part is the main component of this um, wand but the reason I didn't go too crazy was um, because I made it so that the pinwheel can spin isn't that cute so basically I use that same material I don't even know what it is it's like it's not plastic it's not paper it's not fabric but um, I had a couple sheets in pastel colors in my stash so I created this pinwheel by hand um, I believe it's a 5x5 five five inch pinwheel then I went a little ham putting the sequins on there and to um, attach it together I kind of dissected one of my We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel attachments and I have a ton of those but I had to make it work for this so a lot of um, playing around and kind of sort of engineering to make sure that it fit but it does make this front part a little loose so it does come off and there's that mechanism so um, that's what it's attached to so Anna when you get this just make sure that you don't tip it forward like too hard like it'll stay but um, it may have a tendency to pop off but if I adhere it down then you can't spin it and that's the whole point so um, I just put this flower cabochon piece in the center and I think Anna might have given me that and then just this little pearl and bling piece to kind of hide the mechanism that um, was under there so that is the wand you guys know from a previous video that I love pinwheels that spin so that was my thinking behind it so I hope she enjoys this I know she collects them so let me know what you guys think I hope you guys are having a great week so far and I will see you guys real soon in another video bye everyone